There is beauty in being alone, even if you're not an introvert. Spending time with yourself is something non-introverts tend to forget to do, but there are huge perks. While you may enjoy every second you're surrounded by people, it's important to sit back and relax every once in a while with some me time. Here are nine reasons why. Number one, there's nothing like knowing exactly who you are. We sometimes struggle to find words when we are asked about ourselves. Does your mind ever go blank when someone asks what your hobbies are? Take a moment to reflect upon yourself and your interests. Connect with yourself so you can better connect with others through spending time alone. Two, you become more independent. Relying on others when you're feeling down doesn't usually work. People might be unavailable or unable to help you when you need it. When you take the time to be by yourself, you learn to be emotionally self-sufficient. It will take the burden of worry off your shoulders to be able to set your mind to something and count on yourself to get it done. This is especially true when dealing with your problems because of number three. Nobody else knows you better than you do. No one but yourself has been through everything you have, nor do they always know what's going on in your head like you do. Thus, it might be difficult for them to completely understand how something affects you. Take some time alone to comprehend your feelings. You'll gain a deeper understanding of others too. Number four, you don't have to be afraid to be you. There's nothing quite like not caring what anyone else thinks and just being yourself. It's tough to do that when you're surrounded by people though. The only place you can truly achieve that is when no one's around. Relieve the stress from everyday life by enjoying your time however makes you happiest. Allow yourself to be vulnerable when you're on your own. Number five, sexual exploration. Not everyone likes to talk about this, not to mention partake in it, but a very important part of self-discovery is getting to know every inch of yourself, in and out. How can you expect a future partner to know what feels good for you when you don't know your own body? It's important to be comfortable exploring every bit of yourself before letting anyone else do it. Number six, strengthen your appreciation for the little things. This may sound cliche, but it's very true. Whether it's stopping to marvel at the beauty of the world around you while a soft wind breezes through your hair, turning on relaxing music and enjoying it with every fiber of your being, or just going on a walk and treating yourself to ice cream, the little things will ultimately bring you the most joy. Cherish these times with yourself. They matter. Number seven, free your mind from negativity. Life is coming for all of us. Take a moment of your day to sit back and relax, reflect on the things you're thankful for, and forget about the things that are getting you down. You'll have the time to work them out, and you have to give yourself time to work them out as well. But just for a moment, breathe, sit back, and laugh a little. Number eight, allow yourself to recognize your weaknesses. We're all imperfect beings. Part of what makes this imperfection so great is how much room for improvement we have. When we analyze our flaws, we give ourselves the opportunity to work on how to better ourselves as human beings. If you give yourself enough time, you can do anything. And lastly, number nine, you get to do what you want. Being with friends is great. This video isn't trying to disprove that. We are saying that you should value your time alone. Use it as an opportunity to just be. At times, you may want to do something by yourself take on a new hobby, or indulge in an obscure thing you're into. Whatever you want to do, do it, as long as you get to do it for yourself. What are some reasons you value your alone time?